so the reason I make these videos is because hopefully someone somewhere gets something out of it and is able to get a little bit more enjoyment either out of their Helix or their HX Stomp if they liked the tone that they'd seen in the intro. Um, that's kind of the reason I do some of this stuff. So if you're getting anything out of this video, please feel free to subscribe if you want to. That would help out. Or leave a comment, you know, let me know how you're using stuff and all that stuff. That would really help out. So, I put together this little preset which was based on yesterday's um, preset which was ODS Full. So, the idea here is that we've got this really kind of nice blues tone to play which responds really nicely to pickup changes. Um, has kind of a space thing going on and all sorts of other stuff. So the way that I started this off was with the Line 6 Litigator here, uh, Drive at 3.5, Bass at 6, Mids at 7, Treble at 2.9, Presence off, Channel Volume 9.4, Master at 6.1, Sag 6.7, Hum 5, Ripple 3.8, etc, etc. So just drop that in. Then I've also got on this path B, so if you don't know, you can uh, move an item to path by pressing action whilst you're on it. So path A, path B. And then you can also move the split in the same way. Press action on it and you can move it along, etc. So I've got a split before these two amps. So it's a dual amp preset, which you can do on the HX stomp, and we'll probably talk about that a little bit more as well. So Tweed Blue's normal. So actually, let's just talk about it. The Litigator is like a Dumble style cascading gain amp. It's sort of Dumble-ish, but Ben Adrian created it to be like this ideal Dumble. So an amp that couldn't necessarily really exist in the real world. It's got some unrealistic things which people really like, uh, myself included, but great sounding amp. So that's the Dumble style. So if we're thinking like John Mayer, Steve Ray Vaughan, Dumbly stuff. Then we've got the Tweed Blues Normal. So this is the normal channel of a Fender Bassman. And that was for a while, I think, kind of the amp of choice for Robin Ford and people like that. You know, people use a Bassman. I think also Steve Ray Vaughan at one stage or another used a Bassman. So, and it says Blues in the name, so you've got to do it, haven't you? So Drive at 4.2, Bass at 5.4, Mids at 6, Treble at 6.4, Presence 2.7, channel volume 6.2. I think these are just stock settings. I literally just pulled it up. So that sounds good to me. So next, on each channel, I've got a low high shelf boosting 150 hertz by 7.3. And what this is doing is kind of giving you some low end kick. Uh, I've talked about this in other videos and kind of increasing the bass response and feel. Because it's before a cab, you're not going to get anything too crazy overwhelming. This is kind of, I guess, like flicking on a deep switch on an amp. So a bright switch on uh, some amps would be sort of like a, a 6 dB boost in about the 2 kilohertz range, apparently. I was looking at some amps the other day, and that's what I found. So this is kind of like a bass boost. You could think of it like that, or like a sub-bass boost or whatever. Although it's not sub-bass, but you know, you get what I mean. It's boosting that low end. So there's one of those on each path. And then we're going to use the 1x12 Fullerton. I think quite common in the blues world to use actual combos rather than massive 4x12 cabs and stuff. Using the 47 condenser 1 inch, so close mic. And also increasing the reflections here. So these give like the room sound a little bit. The reflection in the cab, that's what that can do. It starts to give the feeling of space. And then on the other amp, the basement, we've got a blue bell with the 57 dynamic. So that's a Celestian blue and 57 dynamic, one inch away, 17% reflections. Okay, so relatively simple. And we're going to pan the left all the way left. And we're going to pan the right all the way right. And then I've got a glitz reverb at the end. Because we're using dual amps, dual EQs, dual cabs. We don't have loads and loads of DSP left over, but we've got enough that we can do this glitz delay. So 4.4k, no pre-delay, 16 kilohertz, 18% mix, etc, etc. And then, as I say, we don't have loads of DSP, so we can't kick on an overdrive or anything, but 
we can harness the power of snapshots so when I press this snapshot um, let's just talk about this quickly so your default view will be here if you press page across you get into this snapshot mode currently on snapshot 3 and then you can change this drive setting here if you hold in any setting and turn you can basically start to use snapshots and uh, so then if I have it on 6 here when I go to snapshot 2 I can change it to be a new setting and this is kind of one of my favorite features about the helix and HX stomp stuff um, so you can see those parameters change with the snapshot so also you can see what's actually happening in this preset is uh, let me just go back so we get rid of that the drive on the litigator when I'm soloing is going up from 3.5 all the way up to 10 and the treble is coming down to 0.5 from 2.9 and the channel volume is coming down to compensate for that extra gain and I think that's the only change there and then likewise the tweed blues is coming from 4.2 up to 8.8 .8. I don't know I think you'll enjoy those tones if you try playing those and then we've got a bucket brigade in front just giving a little bit of kind of slap back and the the mix on that changes when we go to the lead tone because it's in front of the amps uh, I don't want to overwhelm it you know when you add gain to a, a delay or you put a delay in front of a gained up amp it can kind of start to take over but that's what's going on there and hopefully you'll enjoy that tone I'll drop this this is the ODS band preset I'll drop this into the the preset folder if you want to try it uh, it will work on Helix, it will work on HX Stomp, and it will work in Helix Native. But this is also the first time that I've used that Bandmaster, and I'm really digging that. But yeah, dual amps. To me, I think the amp tone is a little bit more important with that, this blue stuff than the actual uh, use of pedals and loads of delay and reverb. So getting the sound of there being kind of two amps, you know, certainly like John Mayer is a two or three amps kind of guy. Um, people like that, I think also Matt Schofield uses a couple of amps, whether it be he'd be using a two rock, he'll also use some kind of fender alongside it in the room. Um, the idea of having these amps loud in one space you know playing dual amps in a small club or you know whatever uh, a venue the sound of the the guitar filling the space i think is what i'm trying to get to with this preset and hopefully that will work for you so feel free to like and subscribe feel free to try out the preset if you want to and i'll catch you in another video soon cheers <laughs>